we're being asked to integrate. So let's try to do this solution. It looks like u substitution is the way to go because if we set u equal to three plus cosine x, then du, well, the derivative of three is zero. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then we can multiply or divide everything by negative one. So we get negative du equals sine x dx. Okay. And now we're going to carefully make the substitution. Now, how did I know it was substitution uh, just from looking at it right away? Well, substitution is usually one of the first things you, you think about when you're integrating. And whenever you have something to a power, uh, the natural thing to ask is, is this going to be your u? And can it be your u? In this case, it is. If this is your u, then we see that we can come up with du, or we can come up with a numerator, rather, right? this in a convenient way. So this whole piece here, this is negative du, and this piece here is u. So we'll carefully make the substitution. So this will be negative du over u squared. You can pull out the negative 1 and bring this upstairs. Write it in a way that lets you integrate. Okay. Now we'll use the power rule. So this is equal to negative u. We add 1. So 1 plus negative 2 is negative 1. You divide by negative 1. Right? You add 1 to this number, and then you divide by it plus c. This is equal to, well, negative and negative is positive, right? We have two negatives. So we get 1 over u, but u was 3 plus cosine x. And then we still have our arbitrary constant plus c. And that's it.